Hey guys, it's Greg from East Coast Dyes, and it's Theory Thursday. Uh, remember to check out, I just posted the video about this month's uh, mesh. Pretty cool, and also posted the orders video uh, earlier today that you can check out. Um, I'll be posting those here in the mornings from now on, so if you'd like to check those out. Some people do, some people don't. They'll be every morning, plus the regular videos at night. Also, this channel just hit 2 million views today, or yesterday, I think, uh, which is really awesome. I want to thank all you guys' support for that. Uh, we're going to have a really cool giveaway at uh, 10,000 subscribers. We've got 9,600 right now. So uh, let's keep pushing that up, and we'll have a really cool giveaway. So today, uh, today's Theory Thursday was going to be about face-off pockets, uh, but I haven't gotten it quite the way I want it, so I'm going to do another highly requested video, and that is um, head offsets and um, what offset you should choose and how you should choose your offset. Um, so let's talk about the term offset a little bit right now. Um, back in the day, uh, back when heads used to start with the SDX Excalibur, I've got some examples here, and the SDX Viper, um, heads were not offset. Uh, they were just straight across. So what that means is you can see uh, the head just goes straight across the entire way. Um, and the Viper 2 also had this. And so eventually, uh, I believe one of the first heads was the Brine Edge that um, created the offset technology. And uh, what offset means is you can see that uh, this is the level where the head starts and the shaft is. And then one way or another, um, the head level dips down, and uh, this is what's called the offset. So the difference between the where the shaft is and where the head sits. So you can see the difference here, um, and just straight across as opposed to an offset head. Uh, so a number of companies have different names for this technology. Um, STX has something they call forward cant technology. Brian has something they call true offset, like max true offset. Um, everybody's got a different name for it, but essentially it's just an offset. Uh, so let's talk about working with no offset. And as you guys know from my high school weapon of choice, I used to play with a head with no offset. And uh, most of you guys that are used to playing with an offset will notice a distinct difference in the way the stick feels uh, when you switch to playing with an offset. And the main difference is going to be when you're spinning the stick. So um, because the, the head sits lower than the shaft, when you spin it, um, it gives it a really different feel when you cradle. Um, since the weight is a little bit lower, it's going to make it spin a little easier. It's going to make cradling a little easier. It's going to just add a different feel in the pocket since it is offset. Um, now what an offset does is, in my opinion, it kind of gives you a little bit slower release, a little different feeling when you're shooting, um, and also adds some hold and a little bit of whip. Um, and so that's something Easton tried to capitalize on with their adjustable offset, which was an interesting idea uh, that no one else has really done. So by having the head drop down further than the shaft, uh, the release is going to be a little bit later than if the head was just straight true with the shaft. And so that's why I really liked no offset, is for its really, really quick release. Uh, since it had no offset, uh, the ball would release. Uh, much quicker and just snap right out of there. So that's one of the advantages, but you do lose um, a little bit of that feel uh, when you don't have an offset. So um, discuss what kind of offsets there are. Um, you can see here is a warrior head. This is characteristic of most warrior heads in that it's a pretty significant drop uh, pretty much at the bottom of the head. You can see they've got this double rail system right here. Um, but with warrior heads, you're going to get a pretty significant drop and a relatively extreme offset, uh, more severe than some other companies. And uh, that's characteristic of most of the Evo series. Uh, then if you talk about Nike and STX, uh, grab my Lakota for a point of reference and a comparison, but they like to work with something uh, a little bit more forward in the head. So you can see the Lakota um, has kind of a slope to its offset right here and then um, goes straight across to the offsets place a little more forward in the head and this is going to uh, push the ball up in the pocket uh, just a little bit higher and give it a slightly different feel uh, you can see the same thing applied here in this CEO um, a little to a lesser degree where it comes down in the beginning and then goes straight across um, and the head with the most offset in the game I would say is uh, the Brian Houdini and also the Brian Voice, like I talked about, they use their uh, max true offset system. And the Brian Houdini has just an insane amount of offset. And I have one to review, 
and it just uh, gave it a ton of hold. We could really crank it back and whip it, and that's why um, I think Ned Karate uses that head, um, and he did use the voice, and that's just because of that insane offset. He really used a, a low shooter setup down the head, and he could just whip it with, with a whole ton of power. So that's what the offset does for you. So I hope this uh, video helped you guys. If you're going to be choosing uh, what head to use, um, help you identify one of the characteristic heads, and that is the offset. So make sure to subscribe to my channel for more stringing videos and tutorials. Uh, like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't, and have a great day, guys.